have a job, commitments, and things do and will pile up. And it gets to the point where you just can't stand it anymore. So what do you do? You end up taking on a mammoth blitz of getting your house clean and tidy. Does this sound like your approach to cleaning? Well, you're not alone, my darlings. Seven in 10 Brits find that they simply do not have enough time to keep on top of the cleaning and tidying within their homes. Nowadays, there are so many people claiming that they have the best method and the best ways to keep on top of the housework and the daily chores, forgetting that we don't all fit into one box. We are all different. Most of these routines are written by people who are already naturally tidy people by nature and also they're not written with a fault for people who perhaps simply don't have the time to clean. You've got children, you've got work commitments, you might travel for work or you might simply just not like cleaning and you don't have the time to clear away every speck of dust, every piece of pet fur because you don't enjoy it. And if you are either one of those people, that is okay. Today's vlog, we are focusing on tidying and what's more, it is going to be tidying within a limited time. So throw down your bleach cloths, put away your cleaning products because we are gonna be the only cleaning tool we need today. Here is the utter mess my house gets left in on a regular basis. There are five of us living here and oh boy does it get messy. Without using a single cleaning product, we are going to make it look tidy and presentable. By doing this, you can focus your time elsewhere until you have an hour or so spare to actually clean. Thing I like to do is remove any surface mess and clutter. I like to put it onto the side and then I go ahead and begin making the bed. This is just a quick tuck in. I've spoken about this before. I like to tuck the bedding in this way because it removes any creases. Finished with the bed I go ahead and put any clothes that are maybe on the floor or any the remote controls I put them back where they're supposed to be I just make sure that everything is in its correct place Then I go ahead and open the windows it is always nice to give your room a little bit of fresh air now it's time for the bathroom. I like to remove all the clothes from where the children have left them on the floor and the empty toilet roll. I mean, if you're parents, you'll know the struggle. And the bin in the bathroom I like to remove as well and I like to put all of the toiletries that have been used within the shower back away in their right box. <laughs> then I like to make sure that the towels are all put back nice and neatly. Thank you. 
Now we are gonna move on to Sienna's bedroom. For this, I literally just like to open her door up so that the fresh air comes through. I remove any glasses where she's had her water upstairs and I will make sure that her bed is made before I head off for the day. Now it's time for the hallway. Jesus, take the wheel. This is where all of my stuff from upstairs gets located because it just makes it easier for me to move it down. I begin taking down any of the cups, the bathroom bin, and of course, all the laundry that is left up the top of the stairs needs to come down. I don't have a laundry basket, and I should tell you why, because I feel like if you don't have one, it forces you to do your laundry, it won't sit there festering. So we're gonna now move on to the kitchen. This is a battlefield. My kitchen is forever messy. Even if I clean it, the children will then come down and they'll start making things and drinks and potions and food and it will need cleaning again. So what I like to do first is load up the dishwasher. If you don't have a dishwasher, don't worry, just rinse out your bowls and plates and put them to the side in an orderly fashion until you do have the time to wash them up. But if you've got a dishwasher, go ahead and load your dishwasher up and make sure any clothes that you have brought downstairs have been put into different piles. So I have already put the clothes into colours, I've also put them into whites and I've also put them into darks which are already in the washing machine. Then I go ahead and put away any surface mess that is out on the sides in the kitchen. And then I like to take the bins out, so the bathroom bin and my kitchen bin as well. I like to put fresh new bin bags in. hands wash because safety first. Happy birthday twice, remember. what the kitchen looks like. At the end of it, I must admit, before I head off, I do bleach the surfaces down. I do like to put bleach within the toilets as well, and I do like to bleach the kitchen sink and the kitchen table. But again, find what works for you. If that doesn't work for you, don't worry, just stick to the tidying for now. Now I'm moving on to the living room where my darling boys have left all their boxing gear. So that needs to be taken back upstairs. I like to organize the cushions on the sofa so they look neat and tidy. Here's the boxing gloves. God help us all. Okay, so this is the final look guys. The living room is complete. The whole house has taken me less than 30 minutes to tidy, so this is something you could totally do in your house before you leave for work for the day in under half an hour, and you'll know you'll be coming back to a tidy home and you've not had to use a single cleaning product. Thanks for watching the vlog today, guys. I hope you have all found it helpful. If you have done, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more content from yours truly, don't forget to click subscribe and click on the bell notification so that you will be notified next time we upload a vlog here on Hayley's Health. Till next time guys, keep it clean. Bye!